Hey guys, Tim and Dave here once again with the single malt review. Mm. And as you can you can see it coming, it's another one of these little dinkos from Drinks by, by the, the Dram. Dram. But uh, the bottle may be small, but there's some weirdly big mm. stuff in here. What is this one? Well, we're diving back into the Sherry Monsters tasting set again. So I'm promising all manner of very heavily sherry whiskey. And this one is a curiosity. This is a 21-year-old blended whiskey, not even blended malt. It is a 21-year-old blend from BBR, Berry Brothers and Rudd. This is the first entry in the Perspective series. This is a collaboration with award-winning Scottish photographer Lindsay Robertson. She has photographed striking black and white shots of the Scottish landscape to adorn the bottles in this series. Uh, this one is of a particularly um, austere beach in, uh, upon the Scottish coast. Oh, so a Scottish then, beach then. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Uh, the photograph is almost certainly under copyright, so we can't show it to you here, but it's available on the PBR website mm. and elsewhere. So we have a blended scotch at 43% ABV, presumably very heavily sherried. Other than that, little is known. Yeah, I guess we'll just, have to try. To, we'll just have to do the work and find out. Mm. So it's seeing a, a new bespoke, one-off blend, mm. not a mystery malt, not a nothing. That's weird. That's very mm. strange. The PBR is up to some... They're up to some weirdness over mm. there in the in the BBR bunker um, because yeah everything about this whiskey seems peculiar. There is mm. not a great market for bespoke one-off blends. Make a you know make there's an endless thirst. There's a whole entire third world governments run on the changing hands of Johnny Walker Blue Label. There's a deep endless thirst for that sort of stuff. Bespoke one-off stuff with no brand factor. That's mm. a bit weird. The, the market for that is much, much lower. Who's who's really out there looking mm. for a one-off blended whiskey? That's yeah. quite strange. This does date back to 2019, I believe, when the series was launched or announced. Mm. So, mm. Uh, yeah, like I say, well, we do the work and find yeah. it out. So, the colouring... I'll just I'll give them the benefit of the yeah. doubt that this is natural because at um, 21 years old there should be plenty of time for that <laughs> pickup color and it does yeah, look it's a deep gold. does look pretty healthy it's not okay. sherry bomb mm. color but it's definitely sherry color that brown gold rather than the more yeah. lemon you get from bourbon huh? and you know you can Ooh. you can tell it's a blend it's yeah. got that it's got that old now here's an here's an interesting mm. question. Blended whiskey, does it become more obvious or less obvious as it gets older? Good question. Well, I think old... it blends I think mm. blends actually become more detectable as okay. they get older because you get that absolutely wild coconut ice mm. fudgy note from uh, the old grain whiskey grain. as yeah. it gets older and older. So there's probably a, a patch in the middle where this mm. is not true, but I think super old blends become super obvious because, and it's immediate there, that coconut ice bounty bar... Mm. Old grain. That's exactly what you mean. Just yeah. really yeah. speaks. It ages. It all seems to age in just exactly oh. the same way. And there's spades of it in here. Mm. A little bit of milk chocolate, a bit of spice, gentle spice, some nuts. Yeah, I'm getting a Christmas pudding mm. off this. Oh, the nosy notes from Drinks by the Dram speak of <sighs> sherry dried fruits, rich chocolate, and a hint of leather mm. for generous helping of baking spices. That's Quite close to where we, uh, yeah, where we picked yeah, up. Yeah. Ooh, I'm mm. getting quite a bit of honey, like honey coming off that yeah, as well. Leather, so. beeswax leather is coming through. I like that. Mm, Alright, and the taste. Mm. Oh, I like it. Mm. That is very, the, very soft. Mm, the old grain is quite strong. It's driving it. As you say, it's soft. It is gentle on the tongue and on the palate. Mmm. Good beeswax and honey. Mmm. So more of that sort of drier leather and a little jute. It's just a little bit fusty. I'm wondering what malts are in mm. here. It's got a real it's not a it's not a glendronic sherryness. Mm. It's more of a glenrothis sherryness. Mm. It's an elgany sherryus. Sherryus, which is definitely a word. Sherryness. Um, mm. and yeah, it's very, very soft because of that grain. It might, I may have to regret this, but I'm going to put just a wee tinkle yeah. of water in here to see what it does. Mm. But it is tasting it's, so it is soft. It's nicely dry. It's not a very heavy, very sweet sherry, despite having lots of those fruit and convectionary notes. Mm. It's more of a, like a fino sherry. Oh. Okay. Now, I've gotten away with this, and also, this is now stunningly sweet. I don't know what, oh, okay. quite what happened. 
It's like wow, a raspberry, a 20, yeah, like a raspberry caber mm. sweetness has come out of just a portal to a, into another a, world, into a berry cheesecake almost. That's, that's very remarkable. Very strange. Yeah, that is a really curious drop. Yeah, so it's not uh, immediately coming across as massively sherry, but presumably it's sherry maturation that's adding all these interesting characters we're picking up on. Mm. Like the flavors noted by Tricks Five Dram include uh, creamy vanilla building into distinct oaky tones alongside both fresh orchard fruit and dried fruit with a drizzle of honey. Yeah, I mean, I, I go along with that. Mm. You know, there's quite a lot. There's, there's plum and there's red apple. It's very much a mm. uh, Speyside sherry as opposed to a, a Heinen sherry, again, without knowing exactly what mm. they have used or how many um, mm. how many malts they've used. They, don't, um, they do not um, give us access to that information. Mm. But it's... Again, I'm not quite sure who it's for, but yeah. um, it's certainly not something I'd turn away. This is really pretty scrummy. What I will say is it's remarkably light in colour and body and on the tongue for something that's 21 years old. Normally mm. I'm used to a bit more, just sort of heft, more oil, but more ballast. Yeah. Not to say that this is weaker for lacking those, just that it's more what I expect well, from this that. Is, this is old-fashioned sherry matured whiskey. This mm. is before they, the sherry train really got cranking right. and um, it became... When when sherry maturation became fashionable and then declared, rightly or wrongly, rare and mm. then way more fashionable, because um, rarity obviously um, definitely for the worse, not the better, is mm. the the primary mover, primary driver of Scotch whisky. But um, before that, there was a matter of factness to sherry maturation, and there's sort of the older uh, Glendronics, the older Benriacs, then they just they just happened to be sherry mature. Mm. They weren't the Oh, what was the model? The Abuna effect, mm -hmm. you know, in a, in a pre-Abuna world where that sherry bomb thing had taken over and become kind of this, um, uh, this this genre of whiskey. It became a unique suppose. selling point. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that then I think sherry maturation changed. Mm -hmm. If you were calling your whiskey sherry matured, it kind of you, there was this onus you had to turn up wearing that particular t-shirt mm. or you'd, uh, the whiskey would be looked down upon for not having that power. And I think that's kind of crap. I think mm. that's, that encouraged poor whiskey making mm. um, because I think too many of those sherry bombs are just, just immature and overly over quantity but, over quality. But yeah, well, without turning this into a grumble about, <laughs> um, about modern whiskey mm. making, this is, this is old fashioned in terms mm. of its, um, its sherry character. And I think it provides a way more of an integrated experience and I think that's what we've got yeah. here. It's not just going for a low look how much sherry we've put yeah. this into. It's more just letting sherry express itself in a big way without just overwhelming. Like this isn't a sherry knife to the back. This is a. <laughs> this is a. No, well, I mean, I rather this is a sherry knife to the back. <laughs> this is a, a sherry assassination, not just a sherry bombing. Um, thought and care has gone into my mm. sherry-related death into this one. <laughs> this one. Craft. Mm. Craft has gone into it. All right. Um, so it scores, and it's kind of difficult. I guess this is a blend score, although this mm. very much presents as a malt whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's a blend, so in, and it goes into the, into the blend hopper. This is a really nice blend. Mm. Um, I think if I didn't give this one 90 points, I think I'd be probably mucking it up. Mm. This is 90 points from me. This is a really, really smacking blend. Yeah, I'm very close behind on 89. This is a cracking dram. It's a very different kind of old age statement blended whiskey. I would happily drink it again. I'm not sure I'd pay the original full retail price of £89 Ooh, yeah, for a bottle of it. I haven't underpriced it, mm. that's for sure. <laughs> but it is certainly, I'm very glad to have had this chance to try it, which I would not normally get, thanks to the dainty wee minis here. Yeah. It's a great way to try something completely new and wild. And I'm glad I did, because, like I say, it is a different kind of a blend. Yeah, it's marvellous whiskey. I, I still don't know who it's for, because, <laughs> um, you know, without the recognition, you... you Pass this under the briefcase at the mm. Jordanian checkpoint. They're not going to know what you're talking about. What is this? Um, but uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's fantastic, fantastic mm. rare. Um, it might even end up. No, I was about to say it might even end up discounted if it doesn't pick up interest. Mm -hmm. But um, Scotch whiskey hasn't been discounted since 1982. <laughs> so. Never we mind about that one. Anyway, so I hope you found that informative. If anyone has managed to um, have any brush with the next one, I think they're on mm. to release number two now with um, some other, probably a picture of a castle. There you go. Called it, I'll bet. Um, and what the style is there, please let us know in the comments because um, I'm very curious. Mm. Very curious about this whole experiment they're running over here. So, anyway, anyway Sludger, we'll be right back.